Good afternoon. It's been a while. I've been busy. Um, but we've had a lot of rain. And I and it's really lovely out now. The sun is shining. And um, I guess I realized how beautiful the light is. So um, I thought I'll take you on a little tour of my... I can't call it my back garden. But um, yeah, the things on the other side. So... I'll uh, give you a little close-up of some of the nice um, stonework that I have. Um, some of this is investment art. Um, this is very, very interesting. Um, there's a, it's called First Generation Stone Sculptures. Um, there's a whole history about all of this. It really is very, very, very interesting. The way these guys make and manipulate the stone with very primitive um, tools is honestly mind-blowing. Um, so, yeah, so I've got a few new things. I've got some um, birds. Remember, I do a lot of upcycling. So, we've got some birdies. And you know that I planted my... Um, there's some more birds. I planted my uh, um, hanging pots a while ago. It looks like some of the tree branches is battling a bit. I'll have to make a few adjustments. But um, so I'm going to be doing some stalls for Decorex. I'm starting to get things ready for that. So, uh, so you see the little hessian baskets. Then I've got this very nice um, bird, what is it, a peacock, made out of barbed wire, again upcycling, brought this from the Free State, I love to support the locals. And um, I have this little display of some classic looking pots, this is cement, it's not clay, but it is very pretty, nice technique, good shape, a few different sizes available. And I have a collection of birds, copper I think, um, Eugen Hoffman is the artist, really, 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 really pretty, I don't know if you can see all the detail, really good artwork, lovely patina on it, um, and uh, then I have some other art goodies from my friend Gilbert which we made out of little off cuts don't you think it's cute I think it's lovely and uh, we sell these for like 200 bucks it's really not a lot of money um, I don't know if you've seen this part I have a lot of vendor pots so you know vendor pots is also very rich in history they make it under certain conditions. The whole story behind the story, I have spoken about that, I remember now. Also, my wire dresses that I have been wild about and I guess lost a little bit of enthusiasm for, but um, they will have their time in the sun again. Also, there you see my love for turf. Don't you just love turf? I love turf. Um... Yeah, there's some of the flux chairs and some um, nice local pottery filled bowls filled with rainwater, which is gorgeous. And um, here is an example of another amazing sculptor friend of mine, Asvi. He displays with Johannesburg Art Gallery, which is amazing. So, um, yeah, I've got some really nice art here to sell. And, um, you know, mixed in with some other things that um, maybe is cheaper and maybe not as collectible, maybe, but also very nice. This um, my friend Panache brought for me from Zimbabwe. This is little, little men. I don't know if you can see them nicely because they're all sort of standing on top of each other, yeah. But um, they're all made of, uh, I don't know, bits and bobs. I don't know. Look at that one, for instance. This is a little man. 
with a padlock over his shoulder to look like a handbag and um, this dude is carrying a wheelbarrow looks like the bottom of a iron and then we've got some small snails and um, we've got some soldiers here's a guy with a gun basically a big nut bolt thing and um, yeah my phone is flat so I have to and I'm also it's five minutes but yeah so hopefully that gave you a, another little glimpse of what we've got going on here and um, I look uh, forward to becoming friends with more of you have a wonderful day